Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to drive this um, Portsmouth Direct Line. This is a class 444 um, that goes from Hazelmere to uh, Woking, and I need to couple this. At Guildford. So, um, let me start the train. Uh, that puts it forward. Uh, JWS, uh, where's my light? Um, this is the first ever train simulator I made. I've ever made, and um, I quite like this game actually. Um, so, let's roll. And the train I'm driving is a class for for Desiro, uh, Desiro UK. Uh, these trains are made in were made in Austria, and I quite like these trains actually. Yep, lovely. Why aren't tail lights on? Things a bit broken somehow. Daylight. That's my front. That's my arse. I want to go now. I quite like the sound actually. So this is the first ever train simulator video I've ever made on. Um, I actually quite like trains to be honest, but I like Buzzer Sport. Well this game is not as realistic as OMC2, but it runs much smoother than OMC2. And yep, my next stop station. Next station is Whitley. Whitley platform one. Um, I found that train train driving can be very tricky. Um, it, yeah, it's quite tricky because you, it's basically steel on steel. You uh, even though you don't have to think about steering. You need to think about, you have to think about acceleration and deceleration, which can be very tricky, especially in bad weather conditions. <coughs> so, uh, currently I... I don't actually know much about trains outside of the United Kingdom, unlike buses. So I know quite a lot about buses outside of the UK, but not so much with trains. And, um, this is a Siemens Desiro UK, it's my favourite train actually. Um, I, can't, I actually can't tell whether I like Siemens more or Bombardier more, because most most of the Desiro UK trains are built in um, Krefeld in Germany, with the newest one being uh, Desiro City, the class 707 and 717. And 717 are still being built under construction. I'm not sure about 707, but those those are quite fast looking. They look like oh, shouldn't be speeding. Um, they look like they can go quite fast, and they 
don't have gangways at the end, unlike these ones. So when you couple when you couple those together, you can't walk through from one train to another. Am I being light? Whatever trains in the United Kingdom delay a lot, so especially when the train driver is near. <coughs> so I made a naughty two video yesterday of bathing to demo one and I think it, it's quite a good experience and I, I think I need to go back to video making because I love my viewers. So the tricky thing about driving a train in game is that you're using the buttons in uh, unlike in real life, you control the lever, so you actually know where your lever, where your lever is without looking at it. But in the game, you actually need to look at it. And the brake, it's got quite some brake, but the acceleration is divided into five notches. Because uh, British trains are weird but they're good um, yeah the acceleration throttle throttle is divided into different notches so on this train it's um, five notches one two three four and max you can't use anything in between you you can use either of these and break it's got a bar there it's actually I think it's actually some notches but there are so many notches or steps that they just put the bar in there instead uh, but um, some other passenger trains in the UK they've got um, notches divided um, the brake divided into notches so the class 444 four, four has got five coaches and each coach has got two doors on one side each door has got only one wing unlike the class 450 which is also used on this line Portsmouth direct line. Um, the class 450 has got uh, two wing doors, so each coach has two doors, each door has two wings, and they're located more towards the center. And um, the class 450 is better for frequent stop, but um, this is better for not really frequent stop, but um, Overall, I like the class 404 better than the class 450. Oh, by the way, the 450 has got two, I mean, uh, four coaches. Four coaches are, um, oh, I forgot to apply DRA, which is not a good thing to do. Um, the class 450 has got four coaches each unit. Um, this one has got, um, five. I quite like the sound actually. I found that all Siemens Desiro UK's electric multiple units make this sound, which is quite a pleasant sound here. I know some people don't like it, but I do. And some train enthusiasts do. Um, I think uh, amongst the Desiro UK's, there's a. Um, there's a uh, diesel multiple unit. I think it's 1A5, I'm not sure. I, I I think there's I think only Desiro UKs make this sound. I I don't think other Desiros make this sound. Because I I looked at the uh, the online. I sometimes go on YouTube and listen to the trains, and I found I I listen to the. Uh, I think it's the Desiro Classic. Quite sure, Desiro um, that's operated by Deutsche Bahn, and um, it doesn't really sound like that. Or, or is it traveling at a bit speed? I don't know because um, you only hear it when it's when the, ele the electric motor is doing something at low speed, so that's accelerating or braking. But if you're if you just let it roll at a uh, low speed, it doesn't make that sound either. <coughs> the 
train station is Milford. Um, uh, one thing I don't really like about this game is that I um, can't make announcements. There's no announcement system. And also you can't actually control the doors, you just press press T and it, it closes the door automatically, which is unrealistic. And also they don't make that sound in real life. I think I think I might like, may pass a bit one. So you have to wait until the bar goes and yeah, there's no button for you to. So that's uh, door control doesn't work. You press T or you press the platform with the mouse to open doors. You can't close the doors. Or I should pull that down on the other side. Sayonara. Can't go there. That's my side. I don't need that down actually. What's it up? Max speed 100, uh, 100 miles an hour. It's not kilometers. And weirdly, um, uh, weirdly but not weirdly, the, I think the class 395, uh, the Hitachi A train, Hitachi class 395 Javli, Javli, Javli. Not sure how to pronounce that. Um, that one is in kilometers an hour. And because it's some high speed, some that gives us some different signaling system. That one has a digital display in kilometers. Which is a bit annoying because uh, all the road signs say miles an hour. Yes. In the UK, we use. Uh, miles an hour um, in most cases but I found that quite weirdly that trams trams use uh, kilometers yeah I think so because um, I remember reading uh, something about UK trams and they say that UK trams run uh, kilometers an hour instead of miles an hour. So the speed limit signs say the number in kilometers and it's um, a rhombus sign. Not sure. And, but I actually like the I actually like the tram signaling system used in the United Kingdom. It's actually not that different from the rest of the world, but um, like for example in Germany you uh, uh, some light like in some cases three so the top one is a bar horizontal bar and the middle one is a dot and the bottom one is uh, a Diagonal bar or a uh, vertical bar, depending on the situation. But in, in the United Kingdom, it's three in one. But what? But um, the buses in the United Kingdom usually run uh, like coloured signals. But um, in some places, those tram signals also apply to buses. And I've, I'm not quite sure about the United Kingdom uh, because I haven't seen many. And I think some tram signals also apply to buses, but buses mostly use the same as other vehicles, road vehicles, but yeah. But I like the idea of combining three. So you've got a uh, one you've got one circle and the circle has got um a horizontal bar, vertical bar, and leaning bars. So that when 
it shows a horizontal bar you need to stop it where it's the same as a red light and a vertical bar means to proceed forward and if it's a diagonal bar if it's pointing left you go left if it's pointing right you go right that bar <coughs> well I, I think I've seen on YouTube video that some uh, some of the trams run on railway tracks like that yeah I think it was in Nottingham I'm not sure but I quite like Nottingham actually um, I like the Midlands in general because for some reasons all the good things happen in the Midlands for example show bus this year which I didn't go just it's too far away from me I really hope to go but um, I couldn't sadly it's it's one of the most amazing things in the world and I think the Eurobus Expo is also in the Midlands Birmingham I'm not sure but this shows some innovations <coughs> um, the the ones that surprised me the most at show bus um, are the Chinese buses because it's a, it's quite surprising that Chinese buses can find their way into the UV markets. But uh, fortunately, most bus enthusiasts don't like them because they're rubbish. But I think I. I think if we can introduce some Japanese buses. Our oh, Japanese buses are rubbish also. Um, but I quite like the Mitsubishi Fuso, the Fuso Aero King, I think that's what it's called. Quite like the design of that one, I'm not quite sure about the performance, but I think weirdly Japanese people are still making that. Um, uh, semi-automatic buses and manual buses I think but Mitsubishi Fuso is technically German acquired by Daimler Which made it better, but I think, uh, but I, I found it quite a bit weird that in Japan you get on the bus from the mid door and you get off from the front door. Anyway, um, uh, because Japanese people are a bit weird, um, technically everyone is a bit weird. So those Japanese trains, um, the Hitachi things, they got a. Uh, a bit different AWS sound and a bit different control and everything is a bit different on that um, but those are quite nice actually the Hitachi and I hope that we aren't getting any Chinese trains because they're rubbish and um, Korean trains are okay I think. Yeah, they've got some Korean trains in uh, in Hong Kong those High and die rotten and Mitsubishi something. Uh, I'm not sure, but um, I quite like the Hitachi trains in Japan. I've got a class 801 in this game, but I don't have the class 800. Um, so I really should avoid applying full power. For Start because that damages the train. But uh, modern trains, including this one, has got um, um, some system that so the computer the computer prevents you from applying full power if you put, put, pull it all the way towards you, which is full throttle. It, it the computer prevents you from applying full power to the train, so you just apply some even if you put it in. Power. 
So uh, when it picks up speed, it lets the it lets the train apply full power. Because if it apply full power from the start, it potentially damages the train, which is not something you want. Um, because trains are weird things. Um, yep. I quite like this line actually, but I hope I can go into London on this line. I think there's a scenario that goes to London. But I'm not sure, but not this scenario. Um, well, a lot of people say UK trains are rubbish. Um, I don't think so actually. I think they're quite good. But although they are actually a bit rubbish in many cases, but um, they are quite good. Well Japanese trains are amazing, I think. Not quite sure I don't I don't know much about trains outside of the United Kingdom, but um, I really do think Japanese trains are good. Um, oh, I actually recognise this place because because I'm a good person, and I recognise that bridge because I'm a good person. <coughs> so ahead of me, there's a single yellow aspect. They call it aspect because. Because uh, British names don't make sense, um, so my next one will be uh, red. But um, I need to go past that red signal because I need to couple with that train. And um, coupling a, another form of four, is it? Yeah, yeah, another form of four. So that's a one six five, I think, uh, network and turbo. I do not have that train in my train simulator, but I really want to try that one now. Uh, what I've got is a class... A class... Uh, so I just requested this so I can pass. So what I've got, uh, I've got a class 365... No, why? Okay, I lost 5 points for speeding because it's weird. Um, I have... I don't know. I'm not good at driving and talking at the same time. Um, but I played this scenario before and I got three points for the, um, whatever. And um, I quite like the class three six five that. Um, Network uh, electric multiple units. That's a networker. Lovely. That passes it all. So put this in neutral and turn. Or the light is in there. The on in on the uh, bombardier, the lights, the light controls are here. Um, so I'm actually quite used to that. This. Oh, I. It's quite annoying that they don't put on DRA, whereas in real life, you put on the DRA. It's, it stands for driver, driver's reminder, clients, I'm not sure. Should I go this end? Yes, I should. Sorry. Um, when I put this into... Day... Is it day? Yes, it is. I can't go that end. Um, that I put into forward. Um, wait here. Why don't the doors open?
now I can depart. Oh, so I have become 10 coaches now. Because I just coupled. I think you need to do more than that in real life if you couple, because you need to open gangways to let passenger go through. Um, cities better because they are better um, they've got uh, the I'm not quite sure if the screens are LED or LCD but they're definitely not definitely not a uh, matrix display I think on these one they use matrix display matrix dots but um, yeah with um, with a more digital one LCD or LED, you got uh, you can get more information, but it's I think it's easier to break because if you display the same image all the time, it burns the screen. And annoyingly, weird German people decided that uh, I'm not quite sure if British people did or German people did um, put the, on the Desiro City and separate in the screen of it. So you've got a little screen on the left and a longer screen on the right. There's a bit of separation in between. Why couldn't they just make it one screen? But um, the good thing is, um, with the higher resolution on those screens on the Desiro cities, the text size is not smaller, you can actually see that unless you got um, some problem with your eyes. Um, so I'm approaching 90 speed limit, but I'm still under 80. Train driving, um, yeah. Even though train driving. 
problem with regenerative rainbow functions and buses, they they can't rain the vehicle to full stop or full halt. So when you're travelling at very low speed, for example like three miles an hour, it uses the friction brake instead because the regenerative brake can't bring it to stop. And yeah, all all vehicles should have fr friction because in case the regenerative brake is work. Also regenerative regenerative brakes was only with only with with driving axles but um, for safety all wheels should be should have the ability to brake. So I'm stopping right here and Why does the briefing say good morning drive and then it's the it's in the afternoon? That's a bit like me saying good morning all the time throughout our day, isn't it? So that's a stop open the doors, put in neutral and lower the blind or the sun thing and I stopped quite well. That's another change, isn't it? That's uh, also for before. Um, yeah, and let the doors close first. And uh, the AIs are actually quite weird. They behave weird. Um, yeah, um, thank you very much for watching and subscribe to my channel and good night.